Who's ready? Five minutes if you're watching this after the fact. Five minute countdown, the silver and gold will come out. We're streaming live from Portland, Oregon. We got Robert in the house. Four minutes to go until we get started. Welcome, Robert. We've got Yankee Pride in the house. We've got David Carlisle. We've got Ethan in the house. The gold and silver will come out in three minutes and 50 seconds. We got Savage Stacker. We got Jason. We got Johnny H. What is up, everybody? Wait until you see what we got. We got MC Silver in the house. <laughs> We're about to have some fun, folks. We're about to have some fun. Three minutes and 33 seconds. Smash that like. We've got Timo in the house. Who's ready to party? It's going to go down. Smash that like, grab a drink. You have three minutes. Who's ready to see this? I'm meeting Constitutional Stacker at the airport in a couple hours. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Smash that like. Yeah, food trucks are fun, Simple Hillbilly. They've got good food trucks in DC as well. Two minutes and 15 seconds. Welcome everybody to the stream. We're gonna get started here shortly. Grab a drink, smash the like. We've got Mark in the house saying what's up. We've got Savage Stacker saying, love the brown paper bags. Yeah, guys, these are full of gold and silver. I had a phenomenal time. We'll get into it in about two minutes. What the heck? The music's supposed to change on this thing. Nah, bugs, bugs, bugs. One minute and 39 seconds. I hope you guys came ready to see some epic gold and silver. And I got some silver that I've never had in my stack before. I think you're gonna love it. Can you see me? I'm dancing. Can you see me? <laughs> One minute and 18 seconds, folks. Smash the light, grab a drink. This is the one minute warning. Constitutional stacker in the house. I'm gonna be seeing Constitutional later today. Our right, four Ducat, that is awesome. That's a great coin MC. Yeah, that is gold for sure. 44 seconds. You know what? Countdowns are overrated. Let's get this started. International Stacker. Stacker. Ladies and gentlemen, I am streaming to you live from Portland, Oregon. And it is absolutely going down. I'm just checking to make sure my stream is live. That stream is not live. Is this other stream live? Hold up. Okay. That is weird. I wonder why this other stream went live. Okay. That is okay, folks. Let me drop a note in the other stream because for some reason there's two streams on this one, but I'm going to break into the gold and silver that I got up here. I'm just typing in the other chat stream live here. Bang. 
All right, folks. I am in Portland, Oregon, the land of crackheads and heroin. Uh, and I have had an absolute phenomenal time here. Um, I made multiple videos with uh, Silver Dragons, a.k.a. Silver Baggins. Those are coming out soon. Um, I met this morning with a subscriber who has a small channel. His name is Successful Slave. And this afternoon, I am meeting up with Constitutional Stacker. And we're going to talk gold and silver. And he's meeting me at the airport. Should I let him leave after the interview, guys? Or should I take him on the plane with me on the next stop in the journey? I don't know. I'll let you decide. But I'm going to show and tell really quick some of the stuff I picked up. So what do you guys want to see? First, bachelor number one or bachelor number two. I'll give you all a chance to vote right now. Bachelor number one, big bag, or bachelor number two. Let's see what you guys think. Live at this link here. Bang. Okay. We got all kinds of people joining. Please make sure to smash that like button. It helps me a lot. Let's see what people are saying. We got Simple Hillbilly saying, hey, hey, hey. We got Savage Stacker saying, all goods come in brown bags. That is absolutely hilarious. Uh, what are you saying? Bachelor number one or bachelor Hi. number two? Nobody's voting. Nobody's voting live chat. Okay. Okay. I guess I'll go with bachelor number one, the big boy. All right. In this bag, I've got some stuff I've never gotten before. So let me show you. Uh, the first one is this. I have several of this. And I actually got a really good deal on this stuff. Uh, for these three coins... I got them all for 180. So don't pay attention to the prices. Pay attention to the prices on them. But this is an 1893 Colombian half dollar, and these were made with the um, the um, exposition uh, that happened, the Colombian exposition that happened at uh, uh, in Chicago in the late 1800s. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I've gotten a few of these at Spot before. If you could ever find them at Spot, that's phenomenal. I got it for less than $13, so I popped on it. It was a good deal with a silver spot price. Next thing, guys, my first one ever, a capped bust. Look at that. Look at that. 1837. It's my first one of these ever. And I'm like, you know what? I just need to, I just need to pop on it. And this is 50 cents. You can see there. Sorry, I don't have the best light. Hey, let me move this over here. I'm in, I'm in a hotel right now. Let me flip this on to see if that helps. 50 cents, but this is a capped bust. These are extremely famous coins. Okay. So those two. And then I got this nice seated Liberty. Look at this thing says 1876 on it. I was only three years old at the time. Just kidding. 1876. And this is my first one of these, at least in this kind of condition. I might have some coal ones, but this is a quarter dollar. And so he had this listed for 42 bucks, this for 160, and this for 13, which were decent prices already with these quality. But I got all three of these for 180 bucks. So this should have been 402, 415, or sorry, $215 is what this should have been. But I got it 180. So that's like 35 bucks off. So that's phenomenal. So again, my first capped bust ever, 1837. What do you guys think? Are those mega? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Constitutional's at work. I'll see you soon, Constitutional. Another thing about this uh, LCS is they just had a tray sitting open that said silver at melt. Smash like if you love silver at melt. Let me know in the comments below. But I got all this silver here at melt. Uh, these are all Canadian quarters. Uh, three troy ounces worth at melt. I mean, how can you beat silver at melt? And you guys remember, I taught you all my little trick back in the day. Um, on how to get international silver at spot or below spot in many different LCSs. 
Also too, I got this constitutional silver for 19 times face. So what does that mean? That means for each dollar, it's $19, right? So I bought $1 face, I believe. So that means I paid $19 for what you're about to see. So 50 cents of it is two barbers. I mean, they're not in great condition, but they're not in horrible. You can see the date, 1906 on there. And you can see the mint mark on this, which is a D. It's down here. So that's one barber quarter. Second barber quarter looks like 1908. And does this have a mint mark? Yeah, that has a D on it as well. And then I got four barber dimes. That's a 1914. Uh, we got ourselves an, another 1914. A 1908, it looks like. And then a 1914. Look at that puppy. Lake House Beach in the house. And then... I got, you know, at least one mercantile mercury dime. My favorite of 90% silver. That's 1943. Look at that. Look at that puppy. All right. So, okay. A lot of people are going back to work. Thanks for stopping in Savage. But you're going to miss the most epic Savage. Bachelor number two. Who's ready to see Bachelor number two? Uh, this one is truly mega. So, Bachelor number two. And if you guys go look, the last video I uploaded was a short. And that short was filmed by Silver Dragons himself in the car we were rolling around to these LCSs in. And, uh, yeah, good to see you, Lake House Beach. Uh, we got some cool stuff, so look at this. Minted from U.S. Strategic Stockpile of Silver, 1981. Wow, U.S. Assay Office, San Francisco. Look at that puppy. So that's 10 ounces of silver, and I got this for 200, 225, no, 241. So roughly $24.10 a troy ounce. I got this 925er, three grams of 925. It's the Starship Enterprise. It, was, it broke off some sort of jewelry. And she had it in there. I'm like, well, shoot, I got to get that. So I got that. And I got this one little 10th ounce gold Krugerrand. Look at this puppy. There we go. It's a little bit better. Uh, this is a 1982. I mean, Krugerrands are some of the most famous coins in the world. They're from South Africa, besides the American Silver Eagle. And she even threw, <laughs> threw in this little Buddha. <laughs> There's a story behind this, and I'm going to release a video of buying all this stuff in these different coin shops, and you'll learn the story behind the Buddha. So all this stuff you're seeing here, I spent uh, four, five, six. I spent like 720 bucks on all this. 720 So I got a lot of, uh, I got some good bullion. Starship Enterprise, I got some old constitutional, I got some super epic old coins like this Colombian half and this capped bust. Look at that. Uh, and the seated Liberty Quarter. I got some Canadian and some gold and this little this little creeper. What do you guys think? Is this mega? And are you ready to see the videos I come out with? Because videos are coming soon, buying uh, this gold and silver. And I think you guys are just going to have a fun time watching it. But again, go check out the last video I put out, guys. It is a short, and Silver Dragons, a.k.a. Baggins, himself filmed it. So I think you guys are going to enjoy that. And uh, I had rented a really nice car off of... Uh, 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 agency out here just, you know, to go around in style, have fun, and make some funny videos. And we made it a style. I don't know if you've seen a lot of those shorts where this young guy runs up to all these super successful people and like Lamborghinis and stuff. And he goes, nice car. What do you do for a living? So we kind of mirrored that, made something funny for the community. So I hope you guys like that video. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a great time up here in Portland at the coin shops. But it's sad to see how many homeless people are around. People just like straight up doing drugs in the street. 
um, you know, went to dinner one night downtown and there was just like people on drugs everywhere. So it's, it's super sad to see that. It's super sad to see, you know, um, what's happened to some of the greatest cities in America, right? I mean, go to LA, go to San Diego, go to Chicago, go to Detroit. It's just the same story. And it's, it's really, really sad. We got Mad Hatter in the house. Um, let's see who else did I not shout out? We got a lot of people here guys. So smash that like button. Uh, I'm making more videos later today. Oh, we got BB 11 in the house shout out, but I am meeting constitutional stacker later at the airport, uh, today. So it should be a good time, but that's all I got for you. I wanted to give you all a quick updates, but uh, you know, maybe a week or a couple days since I've done a live stream. Wanted to let you know where I'm at. And today I'm headed back to San Diego. We'll be there for a couple more days. Then I'm headed back to the Midwest, and then I'm going to be back down in Florida um, sometime next week. So pay attention to my travels. Turn on the notification bells. Remember, I have those unique crab coins. You caught the king crab. Only 50 of them ever made. And you have to find me in the wild to claim one yourself. And I've given away two on this trip so far and one more, so they're getting scarce. So make sure to watch. Please comment below. It really helps the algorithm. Please smash that like, and I guess I'll say... Catch you on the next one. Woo! Mega, 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 m